there's something you should know about Cody Johnson. Before I met my wife, I was not a good kid. You know, I really, I'd fight you in an instant, cuss you out and, you know. Hell I, I was, razor? Huh? A little bit of a hell razor? Well, a little bit's an understatement. Funny thing is, that's not the only time Cody has smiled as he told us about his fighting days. We, I fought my way out of a few bars. I mean, <laughs> I used to ride bulls and so it was pretty rough. Like we would drive to a completely different town just because we got a phone call and somebody wanted to fight. So when two fans got into it, he said, knock it off or I'm coming down there. Well, you tell me if you think he was serious or not. It's Addison Hager, and this is the social media clip we're referring to. If it looks familiar, it's because it's not the first time this has happened. It's not even the only time it's happened in the last year. Gonna warn you, Cody uses a few naughty words here and a couple more later. So if you gotta bounce, I get it. I'll give you a few seconds to do that and ask you to please consider subscribing for original country music news analysis and exclusive interviews with artists like Cody. We put our latest in the corner and description. One of y'all's ass is fixing to get tased now because I saw y'all over here being ignorant the entire time. I've been watching y'all acting stupid the whole time I've been sitting up here talking. I feel like Jimmy from Forrest Gump. I'm trying to sing a song here. Y'all got a whole parking lot to do that stupid shit in. Get out. There's kids and there's families. Nobody cares. Get out. Jerk, I'm singing a song here. Thumbs up this video if you love how Cody protects his fans. He's not the first to do it. This is Toby Keith wrestling with a misbehaving fan at a show. Tim McGraw ain't afraid to do what's right when he sees fans being idiots. <laughs> yellow line right there that runs along that stage that's your side this is my side you step into my side i can't promise you as to what the is gonna happen to you i got a feeling cody follows the same philosophy but there are also a ton of examples of him showing real kindness in fact, in just a second, how Cody may have saved a life from the stage. But first, the clip you came here to see. If you're fighting this pit, I will stop this show and have your ass thrown out. All I did was say, dance your partner, do -si do and we got a fight going down here. If you want to fight, take it somewhere else, because y'all bump into one of these kids, you'll have me jumping off the stage at your ass. Cody has spoke candidly about his rodeo past before. He has also... He was also a prison guard before chasing his country music dream. Anyone else think that toughened him up a bit more? But as he mentioned, he's a married man now with kids, so he has a softer side. This clip was posted on TikTok a few days ago. You're going to see him stop the show to direct traffic to get two people medical help. Can we get some paramedics or some EMTs out here, please? Make us a path if you guys don't mind. Get us a path, bring them up here. Or if we can get to you, go make a path real quick. Yeah, you got a clear path right here told the crowd he'd played late if it took some time, but he walked off the stage to allow the medics time and space to do what they need. I'm just saying, that's the kind of guy you feel good about cheering for every night. Am I right? I'm Addison Hager for Taste of Country. Thanks for watching, and as always, thanks for subscribing.